Okay, here's the last question on August 2009 Integrated Algebra Regions, number 39. The test scores from Mrs. Gray's math class are shown below, um, and we get these 12 numbers here. Uh, construct a box and whisker plot to display these data. Now, uh, to get a box and whisker plot, we need five numbers. We need the minimum, we need the first quartile, the median, the third quartile, and the maximum. And to get these numbers, we first have to arrange all of these numbers in order from least to greatest. Okay, so why don't we do that now? Um, in order from least to greatest, these numbers are uh, 66, uh, 71, 72, 73, um, 82 is next, followed by 85. There are actually two 85s here. Um, 86, 89, 91, 92, and 95. Okay, so those are the 12 numbers in order from least to greatest. Now, um, the numbers that we need are the minimum, uh, the first quartile, we'll call it Q1, the median, uh, the third quartile, we'll call it Q3, and the maximum. Okay, now the minimum and the maximum are easy. Those are the smallest and great and largest numbers. The minimum is 66. The maximum is 95. Okay, now the median is the number that's um, in the middle of all the numbers. Now, since there are 12 numbers, there's really no middle number. So when that happens, um, we always take the average of the two numbers that are closest to the middle. So if you think about it, the, uh, the numbers that are closest to the middle are 85 and 85. Now, the average of those two is just 85. Okay, so the median is 85. Um, now, the first quartile is the median of the first half of numbers. So if we just look at this first line here, 66 to 85, what's the median of these six numbers? Well, once again, they're an even number of numbers. Um, so we're going to look at the two numbers that are closest to the middle, 72 and 73. I'm going to take the average of them. And those two numbers have an average of 72.5. Okay. Now, uh, the third quartile, okay, similar to the first quartile, the third quartile is the median of the top half of numbers. Okay, so looking at the numbers 85 through 95, um, what's the number in the middle? Now, um, the two numbers close to the middle, 89 and 91, so as the third quartile, we can take the average of those two, which is 90. Okay, so we have the five numbers we need to construct the, uh, construct the box and whisker plot. 66, 72.5, 85, 90, and 95. Okay, so write down these numbers. I'm going to switch out this piece of paper, and then we're going to draw the box and whisker plot. All right, so uh, the box and whisker plot will look something like this. Um, you guys, if you're working out of the test, um, have a scale that they gave you. Uh, I just drew a simple sketch here. Uh, try to be a little more precise uh, when you're doing this on the exam. Um, but basically, the five numbers that we found in the first part, uh, the minimum, the maximum, the two quartiles, and the median, those are the important points on the box and whisker plot. So um, at each one of those, we want to make a, um, a straight vertical line. So uh, a line at, at 66, a line at 72.5, line at 85, line at 90, line at 95. Okay? The way we connect them is um, the first quartile, the median, and the third quartile make up the box. Okay, the box of the box and whisker plot. And then the uh, minimum and the maximum make up the whiskers. Okay, So your box and whisker plot should look something like this. Follow the scale that's um, on a piece of paper. Use a ruler, make it look nice, get all the points uh, that um, you deserve for this question. Okay, um, that that's it. That wraps it up for the August 2009 um, Integrated Algebra Regions exam. Uh, thank you for uh, using this as a study aid, and uh, any questions, uh, visit the website.